guys, Cigar Surgeon here with another Cigar Federation review. Today we're going to be reviewing something pretty special, limited. It is a uh, limited production run for the Corona Cigars in Orlando, Florida. Now this is uh, with relation to the Drew Estate uh, lounge that they've got there. They've come out with some uh, exclusive uh, Vitolas and some exclusive cigars specifically for that lounge. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Liga Bravada Number no. Nine box press. It's a six by fifty box press. You can see it's uh, it's a very aggressive box press with a flat cap on it, and uh, they've also got the uh, Drew Estate Natural, the Tobacco Special uh, Dulce, the Tobacco Special Negra, uh, the Undercrown box press, uh, and the Herrera Stili box press. But again, today we're going to be doing the number nine. Now, I'm actually very familiar with the uh, Corona Cigars location in Orlando. Um, I, I was sort of on a habit of going down every couple of years. I was down in Orlando two years. Uh, at the same time, there's typically a Drew Estate event there. Uh, I missed it this year, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, I'll have a chance to see it again next year, maybe go back to uh, Disney World and have some fun. But um, let's uh, get cracking here. We'll do a nose of the cigar. We'll do a toast of the cigar and start talking about what tastes we can uh, we can pick up. So, of course, what makes the uh, Drew Estate Liga Number no. 9 so special is it's got that Connecticut Broadleaf. So it's a very full body, full flavored cigar. Um, when I nose it, I get you know a lot of that broadleaf character, which is a lot of leather, some earth, some barnyard, so aged wood, not cedar specifically, but more of an aged wood. Out of the foot, I get a lot of hay, which is sort of what I come to expect with the Liga 9. Now, the interesting thing about a box press cigar is you do have to remove some tobacco to uh, make the box press, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect the... Uh, flavor profile but having smoked a lot of Liga number nines I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this out so we'll uh, get to the toasting and uh, start talking about what flavors come out all right so on to the uh, meat of the review we're gonna get toasting get uh, lighting and uh, see what flavors come forward um, you know the talked a little bit about the Liga Pravada number nine having that Connecticut broadleaf it is uh, a very full-bodied cigar and I know you know some people might think Drew Estates cigars are all very full-bodied but uh, most of them kind of sit in the medium, medium plus range. You think about the Herrera Esteli, the uh, Nicarastica, the Undercrown. Those are all sort of medium, medium plus cigars. Certainly, uh, you know, in the full flavored, but when we talk about cigar strength, they're, they're not going to blast you away versus the, the Liga 9, which is definitely, you know, in the full bodied, uh, full bodied spectrum. And it's going to be interesting with the flat cap here to see if I can do a cut. I have some difficulty in the past doing a uh, X cut or a V cut per me with a flat cap. So it'll be interesting to see if this works okay with a flat cap. So we've got a good toast going on. Get that flat cap cut here, see if that works. That seems to work quite fine. Getting an, an initial impression of um, spices, leather, earth, Creamy, a little bit of pepper on the retrohale, not as much as I was expecting. I'm normally in a Liga 9, especially after the first few draws, I get a lot of pepper. So we'll let the um, first third settle in, check back in as the flavors transition, and uh, see what else I can pick up. So we're at the uh, eight minute mark, and as with pretty much all Drew Estate cigars, you can see the amount of smoke, smoke production off of this is incredible. Now I know there's a lot of steam coming off of me because it is uh, December in Canada, so it's a little bit on the chilly side, but um, just tons and tons of smoke production. I am noticing that the flavor profile is quite a bit more subdued than the normal number nine, which in this case is really good. There's a lot more creamy element, and I'm not sure if that's because some of the, the filler that was removed uh, lessens the, the full bodiedness of it, but it's really good. I mean, there's still some leather um, post draw, so you get a little bit of lingering leather between draws, but there is a lot more creaminess coming through that, that balances that out. Uh, so far, so good. So we'll keep checking in and see what other flavors come to the surface here. Hitting the 15 minute mark, my expectation is on a 6x50, you're probably going to get about, or you should be getting, two, two and a half hours worth of smoking time. If you're smoking faster than that, you're probably not going to pick up a lot of the nuances that are in the cigar. So if you don't have two, two and a half hours of uh, smoking time available, you probably want to go with a smaller Vitola. Now, one thing to comment on, especially with the box press cigar, what I really like is that it rests more comfortably in your mouth. I mean, your teeth are flat. They're not really designed to, to hold a round cigar in your mouth comfortably. That's not true of the box press. Box press just naturally fits in your mouth and, and naturally, I think, more comfortably fits in your fingers as well. Um, one of the things to comment on here, of course, is that the uh, Drew State Liga Number no. 9 and all of the exclusive 
um, cigars for Corona have the exclusive mall uh, Drew Estate Lounge band on them. As you can see that right there, sporting Corona Cigar Company, and of course Orlando, Florida. The leather did pick up quite a bit. Um, it, it's kind of going between a medium, medium full to a full and going back and forth. Again, playing off against that creaminess, that sweetness. Uh, I do find that, um, again, there's tons of smoke production, which is kind of expected off a Drew Estate cigar. And there's a little bit of uh, spices, again, still coming through on the retrohale with a little bit of pepper, but it's quite subdued from what I'm typically used to in a, in a non-box press normal release Liga 9. So we'll see if that changes as it gets into the middle third or as the first per third progresses. 25 minute mark and you can see all that smoke going across my camera that's just, I mean, tons and tons of smoke production. You want to be careful with one of these, someone might call the fire department on you. So we're about 25 minutes in. Uh, the pepper, the spices, the creaminess, the leather, they're all balanced. There's nothing that's really dominant here. I do notice on the regular production number nine a lot more earth and leather, and they do tend to take sort of the forefront of the flavor profile. But here, I find everything's quite balanced. So I'm, I'm really enjoying this first third. There is the pepper and spices lingering between the draw along with that leather, but it's nice. It's not overpowering. It's just, it's just a little bit of zip at the end of every draw. So lots of cigar to go here. Probably have at least another 20 minutes in the first third before getting to the middle third, so I'll check back in. Just hit the 27-minute uh, mark, and there's a new flavor to report on here. I got a bit of spicy clover honey, which kind of came out of nowhere. It's you know, almost as if the cap was covered in it. And as quick as it came, it kind of faded and maybe got pushed a little bit to the background with all the other flavors going on here. But it is kind of waxing and waning. It's very interesting. Just adding to the, the nuance of flavors in the first third here. Sitting at the 38-minute mark now. One thing to comment on, if you haven't already, go to uh, coronacigars.com. You can check out. They've got some samplers of all the different Vitolas. Of course, you can order uh, all the exclusives online. They've got uh, everything listed there. But, you know, really, you want to, if you're down in Orlando, you definitely want to check out uh, any of the Corona locations. Um, as I said, I've been down there several times, and uh, especially, the, I think it's the Sand Lake location. Heck of a, a bar there. They have every scotch you can imagine, bourbon, whiskey, all kinds of beers. Great place to hang out. And certainly if you have the opportunity to go down there when there's a Drew Estate event, I highly recommend it. Uh, great chance to pick up some uh, Liga Pravada Unicos and, of course, uh, meet some of the people at Drew Estate. So we're getting uh, almost to the middle third here. Not a lot of other flavor profile changes to report on. And if anything does come up before the middle third, I'll make sure to check in. All right, sitting at the 50-minute mark, we're definitely in the middle third here. Uh, all of the flavors have kind of ramped down in intensity, which surprised me a lot. Again, very balanced. You've got pepper, you've got spice, you've got creaminess, you've got some cedar. All of it's kind of playing well against each other. It's not like the, the regular Liga 9 that I'm used to, which is just a powerhouse of earth and leather, uh, pepper and spice. This is much more nuanced. And again, I, you know, I can only attribute that to being the box press. And you have to remove some leaves to make that box press work and get that, that airflow. Uh, all I used was a single V-cut. And it was kind of a shallow V-cut. But I'm getting excellent draw. Really, really enjoying this Liga 9. Um, you know, I think the next time I'm down at Corona, I'll be I'll be picking up some of these. And I lead the, we'll see how many it's going to be, whether it's a box split or a box or a fiver. But... Uh, so far, it's been great. So uh, I'll keep smoking the middle third and see what else comes out. Coming up on the one-hour mark, just passing the middle middle of the uh, cigar here, the Liga 9 box press. One thing to comment on is the retrohale, which it, it, it's a lot more complex than the regular draw, which you kind of expect out of most cigars, but that's not necessarily true in the normal production Liga 9. Usually the draw in the Liga 9 is, again, very full-bodied and really matches in strength and, and fullness with the, uh, with the retrohale. Here it's it's a much more nuanced Liga 9 than what I'm used to. I'm enjoying it. It's it's very good. I was expecting a little bit more out of the middle third. There's a lot of cigar to go yet. I probably have at least another hour to go. Uh, you can see I'm still, you know, probably a good inch and a half to almost two inches before I get to the, the exclusive band on this. So I'll keep smoking, keep checking in, and keep blowing smoke all over the place here. Some uh, cedar is more pronounced here in the middle third. It's kind of got a bit of a drying mouthfeel. It is lingering post-draw, um, overpowering the leather at this point, I think. Still very enjoyable. Uh, talking about pairings, of course, with the Broadleaf, you've got a lot of options. You can go stout, you can go porter, you can go bourbon, you can go rum, you can go a sherried whiskey. You've got a lot of different options available to you. Maybe even an IPA. I mean, provided the weather is appropriate, 
You could probably go with an IPA and get away with it here. Rich, spicy sweetness on the retro hill. Middle third is really starting to step up now. Very, very enjoyable cigar. One hour, 13 minute mark. The exclusive band is now off. If the middle third took a little bit to sort of get its legs, it's definitely found its legs here. Um, there's, there's still probably another 10 or 15 minutes left in the middle third, but you know, a lot more of that Liga 9 character that I was expecting to come through has now come through, so I'm getting a lot more of that earth. The leather's picked up in intensity. The cedar's picked up in intensity. Still getting the same amount of spice. It's lingering between draws, which is nice. It's not overpowering. So uh, I'm going to keep smoking, keep enjoying myself, and checking in with you guys to see uh, how this progresses. Hour and 20-minute mark. I'm definitely powering through this cigar almost certainly a lot faster than I should, but it's just so enjoyable. It's a really, really hard cigar to put down. Um... Everything about the cigar has been great, balanced, lots of flavor, lots of complexity, lots of nuance. Finishing up the middle third here, there hasn't really been a lot of uh, other changes in the middle third. So we're going to get into the final third here and probably or hopefully have, you know, 20, 30 minutes of smoking left in the final third. Um, again, I think, you know, especially with the 6x50, you should probably be taking about two hours, two hours plus to smoke this. So I'm kind of breaking my own suggestion. But again, tough cigar to put down. So uh, you probably have a chance to try these out. If you do, I think you're going to really enjoy this cigar. Starting to get into the final third here, and as I do, a bit of a transition on the retro hail. The pepper stepped up. It, it was very subdued uh, up until now, and I think it's really hit a medium, maybe just a slight medium plus mark here. Uh, really just, again, adds to all the flavors that are going on. So we'll see how the uh, final third settles in, and I'll check back in and see how that goes. So nicely into the final third here. The leather that I'm used to on the regular production Liga 9 has definitely stepped up here. Um, lots of le uh, lingering leather, post-draw, really lingers between draws. So you, you, you kind of got a constant mouthfeel of leather, which, you know, again, that's kind of part of the profile of the Liga 9 that I'm used to. I'm surprised it wasn't uh, present until now. But, you know, really enjoying this cigar. I, I've said it a number of times. This is a great cigar. Love the box press. Um, looking forward to going down to Corona and picking up a pile of these. So I'm going to keep smoking, see how the final third progresses, and then we're going to wrap this uh, review up. Thanks for tuning in, Fedheads. Still smoking the final third here, but it is getting a little chilly. Hope you've enjoyed watching this review as much as I've enjoyed doing this review. Make sure to check out the group review at CigarFederation.com. We've got a bunch of guys in on it. Uh, we'll be bringing you more coverage of the Corona Cigar exclusives uh, as the weeks progress. And, of course, if you're down in Orlando, make sure to check out Corona Cigars. They've got a lot of uh, cool cigars and, and spirits and, of course, some great exclusive Drew Estate cigars. Today we've been reviewing the Liga 9 box press, the 6x50. Fantastic balanced and uh the word i'd probably use here is consistent consistent in the first third consistent in the middle third consistent in the last third this is a cigar you're going to smoke down to the nub again thanks very much for checking out our uh, review and make sure to go to cigar federation com if you like our reviews appreciate it if you like and subscribe on our youtube channel and of course we've got it broadcast on podcast if you prefer to listen instead of check out my ugly mug check out all our podcast coverage at itunes or any of your podcast apps on uh, android or itunes thanks very much